हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल बीट द नीट एंड कैसे हैं बच्चों आप सब लोग एंड आई होप कि आप लोग इन क्विक रिवीजन पॉडकास्ट के जरिए अपने चैप्टर को फटाफट से रिवाइज कर रहे होंगे क्लास इलेवन के ज़्यादा चैप्टर्स हैं इसलिए उनके ज़्यादा नंबर ऑफ पॉडकास्ट मैं बना रही हूँ एक दिन में सो so, आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं चैप्टर ट्वेल्व प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट आज और कुछ बात नहीं करेंगे सीधे डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट करते हैं हम पॉडकास्ट को तो so, सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं इंट्रोडक्शन ऑल सेल्स ऑफ अ प्लांट आर डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ द जाइगोड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ मेच्योर प्लांट फ्रॉम अ जाइगोड फॉलोज अ प्रिसाइज एंड हाईली ऑर्डर्ड सक्सेशन ऑफ इवेंट्स डेवलपमेंट इज द सम ऑफ टू प्रोसेस ग्रोथ एंड डिफ्रेंशिएशन ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस अ कॉम्प्लेक्स बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज फॉर्म्ड दैट प्रोड्यूस रूट्स लीव्स ब्रांचेस फ्लावर्स फ्रूट्स सीड्स एंड इवेंचुअली दे डाई द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोथ इज सीड जर्मिनेशन द सीड जर्मिनेट्स वन फेवरेबल कंडीशंस फॉर ग्रोथ एग्जिस्ट इन द एनवायरमेंट इन एब्सेंस ऑफ फेवरेबल कंडीशन दे गो इन टू अ पीरियड ऑफ सस्पेंड ग्रोथ और रेस्ट एंड रेज्यूम मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटीज ऑन रिटर्न ऑफ फेवरेबल कंडीशन एंड ग्रोथ टेक्स प्लेस नेक्स्ट इज ग्रोथ ग्रोथ इज अ रिवर्सिबल परमानेंट इंक्रीज इन साइज ऑफ एन ऑर्गन और इट्स पार्ट और इवन एन इंडिविजुअल सेल इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल एंड कॉन्स्पिशियस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ लिविंग बींग ग्रोथ इज अ कंपेन्ड बाई मेटाबोलिक प्रोसेस एंड अकर एट द एक्सपेंस ऑफ एनर्जी प्लांट्स रिटेन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ अनलिमिटेड ग्रोथ थ्रू आउट देयर लाइफ ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ मेरी स्टेम एट सर्टन लोकेशन इन देयर बॉडी This form of growth, where in new cells are always being added to the plant body by the activity of meristem, is called open form of growth. Indeterminate it is. Root apical meristem and shoot apical meristem are responsible for primary growth that is elongation along their axis. In dicotyledonous plants and gymnosperm, the lateral meristems like vascular cambium and cork cambium, which appear later in life and cause increase in girth of the organs, called secondary growth. Growth is measurable. At cellular level, it is principally a consequence of increase in amount of protoplasm. It is measured by a variety of parameters like increase in fresh weight, drive rate, length, area, volume, and cell number. Now, the phases of growth. The period of growth is generally divided into three phases: meristematic, elongation, and maturation. The constantly dividing cells at root apex and shoot apex represent meristematic phase of growth. Cells proximal to the tip represent phase of elongation. and more proximal to the phase of elongation is phase of maturation now the growth rates so the increased growth per unit time is termed as growth rate it can be arithmetic or geometrical arithmetic growth that is following mitotic cell division only one daughter cell continues to divide while the other differentiates and matures so a linear curve is obtained example is root elongating at a constant rate and it is mathematically expressed at lt is equals to l not plus rt where lt is equals to length at time and l not is equals to length at time 0 and r is the growth rate or the elongation per unit time and this graph is in your book so here you will found a sig- uh, linear growth and uh, height of the plant we will measure along with the time next is the geometrical growth in most system initial growth is slow lag phase it is and it increases rapidly thereafter at an exponential or lag phase or exponential phase as both progeny cells of mitotic cell division retain ability to divide and continue to do so however with limited nutrient supply growth slows down leading to stationary phase giving a typical sigmoid or s curve a sigmoid curve is a characteristic of living organism growing in a natural environment it is typical for all cells tissues and organs of a plant the exponential growth can be expressed as w1 is equals to w not e to the power rt here you will see the size or weight of the organ along with the relation with the time and here we will find lag phase exponential phase and then after stationary phase where w1 is a final size that is weight height number etc w0 is equals to initial size at the beginning of period r is equals to growth rate t is the time of growth and e is base of natural logarithms here r relative growth rate and measure of ability of plant to produce new material called efficiency index quantitative comparisons between growth of living system can be made by measurement and comparison of total growth per unit time called absolute growth rate the growth of given system per unit time expressed on a common basis example per unit initial parameter is called relative growth rate and then after conditions required for the growth 
So first one is water. For cell enlargement, that is extension growth by turgidity, water also provides medium for enzymatic activities. Oxygen for aerobic respiration to get metabolic energy. Macro and micronutrients for synthesis of protoplasm. Temperature optimum range for best growth. Light and gravity also affect certain phases or stages of stages of growth. Now the next one is differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation. So we will see it one by one. The cells derived from root apical and shoot apical meristem and camium differentiate and mature to perform specific functions. This acts this act leading to maturation in termed differentiation. Example is tracheary element. Now the de-differentiation is living differentiated cells that have lost the capacity to divide can regain capacity of division under certain conditions. This phenomena is de-differentiation example is formation of interfascicular and core camium from parenchyma cells. Now the next one is re-differentiation. So de-differentiated meristems are able to divide and produce cells that once again lost capacity to divide but mature to perform a specific functions that is get re-differentiated example is secondary xylem, secondary cortex, cork etc. Then after development. So development includes all changes that one organism sorry an organism goes through during its life cycle from germination of seed to senescence. So there are some sequences of developmental process in a plant cell. So here it is uh, meristematic cells either plasmic growth then differentiation and then after it is forming the mature cell and then after senescent it will go to the death and here the expansion in el means elongation will take place and maturation also take place then after next one is plasticity so plants follow different pathways in response to environment or phases of life to form different kinds of structure and this ability is called plasticity Heterophyly in cotton, coriander and lark spur leaves of the juvenile plant are different in shape from those in mature plants. Environmental heterophyly in buttercup is also an example of plasticity which shows difference in shape of leaves produced in air and water. Then after plant growth regulators, so we are having uh, two groups based on their function in our living plant body. So first one is involved in growth promoting activities and the second one involved in growth inhibiting activities. So first we will see involved in growth promoting activity that is basically like cell division, cell enlargement, pattern formation, tropic growth, flowering, fruiting and seed formation. And they are auxin that they are in dole compounds basically IAA and gibberellins. GA3 terpenes it is and cytokinin that is adenine derivatives that is N6 for furyl, aminopurine and kinetin. And those who are involved in growth inhibiting activities like response to wounds and stresses of biotic and abiotic origin, dormancy and abscission, example is abscisic active, abscisic acid that is derivative of carotenoids. The gaseous PGR ethylene could fit either of the group but it is largely an inhibitor of growth activities. So now we will see all the plant growth regulators. So number one is auxin. So Charles Darwin and his son Francis Darwin studied phototropism in canary grass and FW went isolated auxin from tips of coleoptiles of oat seedlings. First isolated from human urine produced by growing apices of stem and roots. IAA and IB isolated from plants. NAA 24D are synthetic. Physiological effects are like initiating rooting in stem cutling cultings and uh, promote flowering in pineapples, help prevent fruit and leaf drop at early stages but promote abscission of older mature leaves and fruits, apical dominance induce parthenocarpy in tomatoes and 2,4-D kill dicot weeds used to prepare weed free lawns and auxin controls xylem differentiation and helps in cell division. Now the gibberellins are bacony that is foolish seedling disease in rice was caused by fungal pathogen zebralin. Fusikuroi. Korosova helped understand it later the chemical zebralic acid was identified. GA3 discovered first and remains intensively studied from all GAs are acidic, increase length of grape stalk, cause fruits like apple to elongate and improve shape. They delay in senescence, they use to speed up malting process in brewing industry, increases length of stamina yield by 20 tons per hectare in sugar cane. A spraying juvenile conifers with GAs has a maturity period, promotes bolting in wheat and cabbages and many plants with roset habit. Now the cytokinin, Scood and Miller 
crystallized cytokinins promoting activity substance and termed it kinetic a modified form of adenine from autoclaved herring sperm dna kinetin does not occur naturally in plants zeatin the naturally occurring cytokinin was isolated from corn kernels and coconut milk synthesized in regions of rapid cell division like root apices developing shoot buds young fruits etc helps produce le- new leaves chloroplast in leaf lateral shoot growth and adventitious shoot formation overcomes apical dominance promote nutrient metabolism and helps delay leaf senescence then the fourth one is ethylene cousins help to identify ethylene and synthesized in large amount of t- by tissue undergoing senescence and ripening fruits horizontal growth of seedling swelling of axis and apical hook formation in dicot seedling is influenced by ethylene promote senescence and abscission in leaves and flowers and effective in fruit ripening by increasing rate of respiration called climactic break seed and bud dormancy initiates germination in peanut seeds sprouting of potato tubers promote rapid internode or petiole elongation in deep water rice plants promotes root growth and root hair formation initiates flowering and helps in synchronizing fruit set in pineapples induces flowering in mango ethipon in source of ethylene it hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples and accelerates abscission in flowers and fruits thinning of cotton cherry walnut promotes female flowers and cucumbers increasing yield abscisic acid is regulate abscission and dormancy a uh, general plant growth inhibitor and emitter of plant metabolism inhibit seed germination stimulates closure of stomata plays important role in seed development maturation and dormancy and by inducing dormancy abscisic acid helps seeds to withstand desiccation desiccation and other factors unfavorable for growth and in most situation abscisic acid act as an antagonist to gas now there is some important points like development in plants can be under intrinsic and extrinsic control intrinsic can be intracellular or inter like genetic one and intercellular are pgr in plants growth and even differentiation is also open as cells and tissues of same meristem have different structures at maturity and pgrs can have complementary or antagonistic role which can be individualistic or synergistic so this is all about this chapter as per ncrt and i hope you enjoyed this podcast share your reviews in comment section and see you soon in the next podcast till then just stay tuned with me bye bye everyone take care and don't forget to share with your friends good luck